Hey everyone, the popular SRAM GX got a refresh. We looked at the new 1052 cassette, but they also recommend using it with this new derailleur. How is it different from the old one? Let's take a look. If you didn't know, Lunar comes from Lunar Gray, the new color that they've used on these components and you see it used on the big 52 cog of the cassette as well. Also, they mentioned the more premium uh, materials used. The new Lunar Gray color and also the glossy finish definitely give you that feel of a more premium product. But are there any other differences? The details of your new derailleur can be found here on the side. This is made in Taiwan just like before. You can see the product code from SRAM and also that this is an uh, GX Eagle derailleur, Lunar being the color and a clear differentiator from the old product. In the box, aside from the usual SRAM leaflet, you're gonna find the derailleur. Surprise, surprise. Actually, the surprise is the fact that they've replaced their B-gap adjustment tool uh, with this. If you remember, the first generation used to provide this little tool in the box and the derailleur itself still trapped in that molded piece of plastic. And to get the weight question out of the way, old derailleur is 294 grams, new derailleur is 299 grams, so 5 grams difference between the two. This whole front end of the derailleur seems to be constructed exactly the same. Obviously you have the new color and branding. The knuckle is the same. I hope it doesn't have that much play in it as before. Uh, the uh, pinch bolt and the adjustment screws are now black. And otherwise everything that's moving here, all these arms are the same size. Everything is the same, same. The same type 3 clutch is used on both derailleurs. And as you move lower to the cage, I think that's where most of the differences are going to surface. And yes, you have X actuation written on the old one and Eagle Tech on the new. But if you look carefully at the shape of the derailleur cage, you're going to see that it's different. It's beefier on the new one. Also, the area protecting that lower jockey is extended quite a bit. On this inner cage, you still have the serial number written just like in the past. It's different color and down here you're gonna see 520 percent kind of telling you that this is the new design you can see the shape uh, of the cage wrapping around that lower jockey way more than before and also if you look carefully here you're probably gonna notice that there is more offset between your upper jockey and that pivot point the length of this cage is about nine and a half centimeters there nine and a half so they didn't touch that offset though this is about five centimeters and the new one it's about five and a half so they've increased the offset here by about five uh, millimeters otherwise they seem to use the same jockey wheels as in the past uh, for gx they use steel ball bearings on both and the lower still uses the same narrow wide profile like in the past so color and style, more offset of the upper jockey and the new shape of this outer cage. Those would be the main differences between the new and the old. And with the changes, SRAM brought the design closer to that of the Shimano XT. It looks kind of as premium, if not uh, better. You can see the shape here of the cage, which is the same. Uh, the cage length is the same, but the new GX or the new derailleurs from SRAM have more offset, actually about one centimeter more than the Shimano's. The installation is fairly simple. I always use this cage lock to extend it. Then it's a matter of tightening your derailleur to the hanger. Uh, they do have some sort of Loctite here and they recommend not to put grease. The only trick here is that the end of this tab is going to have to go against your derailleur hanger because that's what makes this whole B-gap adjustment work. And talking about the B-gap adjustment, they provide this new tool. I guess I'm going to have to document that in my uh, next video. Tightening bolt here is still 5 millimeter hex, 10 to 12 newton meters. With the previous Gen GX, we used to have a lot of play here in this B-bolt bushing. 
Well, this one installed gives you, I'd say, two, three millimeters of play, which is kind of normal, I think, for all these derailleurs. So maybe they fix that as well. As for the lunar gray color, here's an SLX 12 speed. And you could argue that they first introduced that uh, bluish gray. You see it right here, maybe a slightly darker tone. I'm going to cover the installation of the derailleur as well as adjustment using the new B-gap tool in a separate video, trying not to make this too long. But I hope nobody is surprised if I say that the new derailleur with the new cassette works perfectly fine. First, to ease your gears. And two harder gears. So nice and smooth, but something that you would expect from a brand new piece of equipment. And for those of you that watch my cassette video, you know that the chain drops off of that 50 quite aggressively. It seems to be doing it almost always at this point. So whatever the shape is of the teeth over there, that's what's causing it. It's pretty aggressive as I showed you on my other video. See, my uh, chain is totally jammed right now. So is the derailleur. With the design borrow from the current Axis wireless derailleurs, I think this is going to replace the old one everywhere because it can swallow the 520% range of the new cassettes and although the old 1050s. I'm looking forward to testing that out, also trying the new B-gap tool that's provided, but I will leave that for my next video. But let me know if you have any questions about this new derailleur, I would love to hear. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Why not riding the new SRAM GX Grupo? Cheers, guys. Cheers.